Hello there, I'm Kanari. Thank you for being here, and I hope you're having a nice day. For today's topic, we have... Well, what do we have? Thanks, Kanari. So this will be a short video on the new MSI Afterburner version. So we actually got a new version from a couple of days ago. So this was posted at Guru3D, where they have a released updated version of the Afterburner. So if you're not familiar with the software, this is generally used for monitoring benchmarking and overclocking. Though if you do have the Radeon software, the Adrenaline, they do have a built-in overclocking uh, feature there. They do have a tracking and um, monitoring tool too. So you might not really need to use this if you have that one. I actually use the Adrenaline mm, software itself to overclock my 6800 XT and my 6700 XT. So it's up to you if you want to use this one or you're more comfortable with this one. If you have a Radeon, um, you might be more comfortable just using their software. But yeah, I mean, this, this has been around for a while and it's good that we have this new version now. So it's been a while that it has not been updated. It, it was in beta for a while, right? I think 4.6.4 for a while and then beta. And then there was some issue with the um, developer not being able to get paid because of the uh, the war in Ukraine and all of that stuff, basically. But basically now it's great that we, we got we got this new update and I'm hoping with this new update, you know, the software is stable. So let's check out what updates the this new version has for us. It adds new graphics card support for the NVIDIA 40 series and the AMD Radeon 7000 series. So you got the monitoring here for the Radeon 7900 series. Future AMD and NVIDIA GPU PCI device IDs to the databases. And of course the Intel Arc GPU support. So this is pretty good, although it looks like you can't overclock Intel Arc with this with the afterburner yet. So hopefully in the future they would allow that. Over oh, and, and again overclocking. Um, just know that if you're overclocking, you could or you will void your warranty. Add experimental support for 13th gen CPUs and the new AMD Ryzen 7000 series CPUs too. So CPU usage data sources and hardware monitoring is added. Improved correction formula parser. Mm, okay, rounding and min-max function support. Improved monitoring for temperature and some NVMe drives. Default clock frequency limit on voltage curve editor has been extended to 3.5 gigahertz. And you can still customize it if you know if you're that's uh, how you overclock, you could customize the file. Server location to a new URL inside update checking system. Okay, basically. The main updates are for the new GPUs and CPUs and fixes on some other things. And then you have the Riva tuner statistics have been upgraded to. So it's for compatibility, overlay plugins, on screen display output. So it's an updated version that handles the new GPUs, CPUs, and then always note to get the software from guru 3d and msi only so just to make sure that that you're not installing a compromised copy of the software if it's not published on guru 3d or the msi afterburner website itself yeah don't don't get it because you want to be safe so i got this version last night i did a little bit of overclocking from my previous setup before this version i actually overclocked my 4090 to up to 2940 max and then after installing this i thought you know what maybe this will add a little bit of stability and i did have time i actually spent maybe just about an hour or less uh, getting to the max overclock that i got because i don't want to spend too much time overclocking because overclocking and benchmarking already takes a lot of time so what i did was i went to like the upper end where it was crashing and then quickly backed away from that and then I was able to find a stable um, stable speed so I got it to 30 15 max 
and then memory i added a greater than 300 megahertz to the memory and i was able to get a bit more performance so i did run after that i just tested uh, four main benchmarks uh, for, for 4k gaming and then i ran the stress test port royal and speedway and i'll probably run a couple of more just to be sure the overclock is stable but yeah I, I feel confident that the overclock is stable so from my previous overclock of the 4090 for 2940 so if you see here i got um 17151 and with, with now with the 3015 i got 17370 so it's a tad bit you know it's a tad bit more than average which is nice to get but yeah um, all in all card is fast enough anyway so it, it's a few more fps when gaming so so time spy extreme it did it, there was a a bit of bump and then for speedway from 10 0, 4, 2, i got 10 354 now for the 3015 uh, max speed also a nice bump versus you know versus the average and um let's go to the port royal score so this is a fairly we got a 26 257 from the previous overclock now we have a 26 750 so also a decent bump and and here we have the fire strike ultra score so the previous overclock was 24 880 at the 2940 and now at the 3015 we got 25081 and i also did overclock the memory a little bit more so i was able to get a decent uh, enough overclock and then i think of course the stability of the software probably helps with the overclock too and also i i could probably maybe push it more but i didn't want to you know spend too much time overclocking anyways so yeah so if you're using the msi afterburner there's a new version there and uh and it does have all of the um updates so get the new version yeah that's it so have a good one thank you for being here like and subscribe have a good day Bye now.